Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now in this review, I'm going to be showing you the 75038 Jedi Interceptor, which is surprisingly not called Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, but who knows. It was released in 2014, it has 223 pieces, and retailed for $24.99 in the US. Now, I, I really like the set. It's one of my... I have the fondest memories of it. It's really nostalgic to me because this was probably one of the first few sets that I collected and kept as a set, not really dismantled, because a lot of the times before I dismantled it, this is the only set that I kept around. And I really like the opening sequence in Revenge of the Sith. And I wanted to get Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor, but I just, I, I just couldn't get it. But here's the Anakin Interceptor. Now... Uh, it's really cool. It's got some cool features, some really nice minifigures. So let me go and show you the minifigures, and then I'll show you the show stuff. We have Anakin Skywalker. Now for 2014, these prints were absolutely amazing. It's really difficult to tell, but he's got multiple layers in the torso. If I can get the light to show you, you can see there's multiple different layers in the uh, uh, torso. And the legs have some really nice printing as well. If you turn it around, there's some more printing in the back with some different features or uh, pouches and things like that. And then he also has the glove for his mechanical arm and a lightsaber. Now, I can't seem to find a lightsaber blade, but as soon as I find one, I'm going to put on Anakin. Now, he does have an alternate facial expression, and it's more of like a stern expression where he's mad. And this one is more of like, he's saying, this is where the fun begins. And it's a really nice figure. I really like how it, uh, Lego made this figure. They did remake it for the new Jedi Interceptor, which came out last year. But I don't think that really compares to this, since that one has some pretty odd printing choices. But this one, by far, is my favorite Anakin Skywalker that LEGO has ever made. There were some pretty good ones back in 2016 when they released the Clone Wars version of Anakin's uh, Starfighter. And that one was really cool, but this one is just... I mean, it's amazing. You you can't not like it. So, yeah, it, it's a really good figure. R2-D2, who is the second figure in the series. Now... I don't know if I should classify this as a May figure, or if I should, or if I should classify this as a build. But nevertheless, it's uh, count. It, it's it's uh, called R two D two on the box, so it's a minifigure technically. So it's got some really nice printing. I think this was the first R two D two with this new design that they made. Then they did remodel it. They changed this uh, this little uh, orange or red thing right here to become purple for some reason. I don't know why they made such a small change just to that one thing, but I mean, it's, it's all right. It's really nice printing all around. I like the hair, or the, not the hair, but like the back printing. And then I like the front printing and then the torso. It's really, really well done. And for 2014, it was such a big improvement to the 2012 the one. Ship. This is uh, the Jedi Interceptor. But I'll just call it Anakin's Jedi Interceptor because that's what it really is. It's got some pretty cool features. You can open up the cockpit, put Anakin's lightsaber in there. So if I take my, I take Anakin, I can put his lightsaber there. You're supposed to put his blade there, but like I said in the beginning, you don't have his blade. So you just put Anakin in there, lean him back a little bit, and you can fold it down. Now Anakin's in the ship, but you also need R2-D2. So you just take your R2-D2 and there's a little spot in there. You take your R2-D2 figure, turn his head sideways, and then now they're both inside the ship, which looks really cool. You've also got these flaps, which can go up, and then you've got some flaps underneath, which go down. So you've got him going like this, it's like he's swooshing around in, in the area, and I think this really turned out good. I, I love how Lego did this. It's really well designed, especially with how they got this and also how they managed to get the gap in there and still hold this back section. It's really cool. Now in the back, you've got two engines. 
And you've also got two stud sh or not stud shooters, but spring load shooters, since this was the first year spring load shooters were installed or added. So you just fire like that and you, you push down and they launch out. And it's a re it, it's a really fun feature. It was great for 2014. It's great for now. And I think I think uh, this is a really good set for 2014, especially for the value of $25, you get an exclusive minifigure, a, um, a new redesign of a minifigure, some spring-loaded shooters, which had just recently been added, and some really over- and just a really overall nice design. Now, there are some cool pieces with it. So, first of all, there is a, uh, this entire area, this entire area is printed, so it's on a transparent black piece, and it's got some uh, sand blue printing on it. Then you've also got this piece, which is printed. Then there's a sticker over here, sticker over there. And then there's supposed to be a Republic insignia over here, which is a print, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to put a picture of it, of what it would look like on screen. And overall, this is a really nice build. I'm really happy with how Lego made this set. Let me know if you like this set, if you got this set when it came out, or if you want to get the new one, let me know in the comments. If you do want to get the new one, uh, it it does have some really cool design elements that this one doesn't, which maybe when I get my hands on the new one, which technically isn't new since it's a year old, but still, uh, if I ever want to purchase the set, I'll definitely make a review of it, because it's definitely one that should, that I should uh, uh, do a comparison of, and maybe even the 2005 one I'll get as well. So let me know what you think of this set in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day, and goodbye.